frustrated teachers and students are speaking out. They say it's been bedlam at Hempstead's middle school. Many students are still without accurate schedules. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff has a story you'll see only on two. Hempstead Middle School teachers pleading for help. Begging, pleading. Afraid of retribution, many asked for anonymity, but showed us class schedules like these riddled with errors. It is absolute chaos. Students and teachers not knowing where they're supposed to be. Changed so many times, kids have lost track. Does anybody have a problem with their schedule? Yes. The schedules have changed almost three different times. One day they're going to this class, one day they're going to that class. And the classes that we do, to our names are on the attendance. They keep changing everybody's schedule. They described mass confusion, booked for two courses in one period, classrooms double booked, some rooms crammed with more than 45 students sitting on bookcases and ledges, marked absent, even if they're here. Every single morning they say that, oh, you have a different class and they're marking, they're marking, they're marking me absent. An entire month of instruction lost for some students meeting teachers for the first time this week. Sad, um, upset. This is not what any of us signed up for. Not the kids, not us, not the parents. The middle school principal told us the problems are not serious and would be fixed last Friday. But even new schedules are missing classes, teachers, classrooms. Two weeks ago, the head of the teachers union told the school board there are serious concerns. We have been asking that a total clean, a total wipe of the master schedule be done and rebuild it. A lot of the staff have had several different groups of students since the start of the school year. But was told to put it in writing. We're not blind. We know that, and we're going to work it out. District officials blame an influx of 104 new students to the middle school, mostly immigrants, since August, and teacher cuts due to unfair state funding. The same school board opposes state monitors approved by the state legislature, but not yet by the governor. If the monitors were in the district right now, um, we wouldn't have to be finding out about about this as we enter into October. How can anyone in their right mind say that everything is under control and we've got this if our kids are not able to attend class? Enough already. Uh, we'd like to get started with the year. We'd like to actually teach our subjects, get to know our students, and not have to worry that they're going to disappear from the roster the next day. And out of the mouths of babes. Kids should be able to learn in a proper setting, and kids should be able to know where they're going by now, by this time of the school year. Get itself together. It's been going on for ages, and it needs to stop. District leaders say what they need is not more monitoring, but more money. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And to read the written statement by the Hempstead School Superintendent, you can head over to cbsnewyork.com.